Hey, here's Logan. So here I have your file open and as you, I already see on the first place that something is wrong with your normals. So I check out the normals and I'm stupid, face orientation, yeah. And you can see something is wrong here. Another thing that I already see is like here you have some overlapping geometry. This is usually, when it's flickering like this, it means there are two faces at the same time at the same place and uh, Blender doesn't really know what to do with it. So that's a problem. Um, face orientation, yeah, when I select this or when I go to this here, uh, okay, it's even, it's worse. We have like inside of your geometry in your volume, which should be the inside is another inside. That should not be the case. You want to have a clean outside and a clean inside. Here you have like uh, additional faces inside that doesn't really make sense. Because when you smack now the other part on it, what should it do? And here we clearly have some overlapping geometry. Uh, yeah, you see we have two faces that overlap each other. This is not really that good. Um, yeah. And you have some... It tells uh, that you have some uniform. Oh yeah, your scale is completely off. So you should also apply your scale on your... Uh, you should definitely apply your scale in object mode, you know. Apply the scale, then in edit mode, uh, recalculate normal, uh, yeah, recalculate normals and then take care of your geometry. Also make sure, for example, if, um, uh, wait a second. So here I am again. I've activated the origin. This was deactivated on your side. So origins here and here you can see if I deactivate now the mirror modifier that your origin is right here. The mirror modifier uses this origin to flip an X is this axis. This means everything that is here will be flipped to this side, so left side. Everything that is flipped here should be flipped to the other side, which then causes additional overlapping geometry together with these things here that should not be there. Like, like these here should not be there. Oh, I deleted some of that. Yeah, these should not be there, these should not be there, these should not be there. Then we have some problems down here and we have still the problem that these parts should not be on the origin left side, they should be in the middle, it's like right here. So I move them and I snap them to vertices and I move them to X uh, without this X. Yep. So now they should be in the right spot. Now I have these holes that I've created. That was not your mistake. This was my mistake by deleting everything. Uh, whip. But you can simple fill them by pressing F or selecting them and pressing F. 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 Probably I also destroy the normals now because I don't really take care of it. What is outside and inside. But we can check that pretty easily. So now we have this nice piece. This looks better for my eye right now. Let's check the normals, the face orientation. The face orientation is actually good. You see, we have the outside and we have the inside. And now when we activate the mirror modifier and we also activate clipping, which is nice. So now you can, in theory, you can try and push it on the X 
axis, but it doesn't allow to go past the mirror. And now you have this nice piece, I would say, right? Which looks better, especially in wireframe. Let's see. Good. I hope you have learned something. Good luck. And, and ah, stop. <laughs> um, when, you, when it comes now to sculpting, if you want to sculpt something in here, you have to imagine what you really want to do. Because if you just go in here now and say, yeah, let me remesh this, which is totally possible, you know, remesh and say remesh, then it still doesn't work. Why it doesn't work is simple, because it doesn't accept this mirror modifier. Because you are remeshing your mesh and the mesh is afterwards uh, affected by this mirror modifier. So you, mirror modifier. So you have to apply it first and then you can remesh it. See? And then you can start to draw on it. But what I would suggest in your case is stay with your original kind of mesh uh, and use, for example, the multi-res thing. And then you can um, uh, subdivide your mesh. Uh, stop. That was one. We make a simple subdivide and then you can actually use this one and you can go back to the yeah where you want and you can do another one layer if you want to know more about that i would suggest that you go to the um uh, well you can take a look at uh, some sculpting tutorials or go to the blender page that can tell you more what it is about because when i delete this now you know you have back your bases you can also use remesh, but this is also just up to you and what you really want to create. Yeah, but this is how you fix your mesh. Bye.